Well, hi there. I'm Fenwa. I'm Lomst. And I'm Demo Weasel. And welcome back to Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker. Yeah. Oh, man. Let's, uh, what's it? Now that we're watching the correct video. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's right. Oh, man. Let me just uh, remember this zinger that I had um, th that was totally spontaneous. Uh, let's walk some fucking pieces. There we go. I don't think so. Um, because Metal Gear Solid War Runner is here for you. Oh, shit. That's the, uh, the Explorers of Darkness version. That's right. Yeah, well, you have to, uh, you have to buy both of them if you want to get all of the mechs. All of the Pokemex. Yes, the Pokemex. Yeah, to, to fight the final boss, you're gonna have to play, uh, Metal Gear Solid Orange and, and Crash Bandicoot Grey. Well, you think it's the final boss, but after you defeat the, uh, the Elite Four, uh, referring to the oh, AI weapon. Wep there's still, uh, you know, about 60% of game left. After you kill the Elite Four with your fists, you have to go and fight the final, final boss, who is a carbon copy of you. Whoa, except he's dark. He's covered in shadows. <laughs> Once you're well past the Elite Four, you finally encounter the critter that's on the box for the fucking game. <laughs> uh, I haven't beaten a Pokemon game, I think, since Gold. Well, define beaten. I mean, there's beaten in the sense that you see the credits, and there's beaten in the sense that there's nothing left to do. Uh, oh man, that's 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 a uh, like beaten to the point where I'm like, okay, I feel like I have completed this game as far to my ability as I can without resorting to stupid bullshit and grinding for hours. Actually, uh, are are either of y'all interested in in Pokemon Conquest? Nope. At all? Nope. Uh, looking at the at the quick look of it, I I feel like a grid based tactical RPG. And format. speaking of stupid bullshit. Snake, Peace Walker's being controlled from the control tower. It's to the northeast. Get going. We'll be there to back you up. It should have, like, Pokemon should have found their way into that at some point in history, and I'm amazed that it hasn't yet. So, I don't know. Like, I'm, I'm a fan of those types of games. Oh, hey, it's another mission prep screen for me to edit out in post. <laughs> uh, wh whatever. If you do that, then you'll be editing out my fantastic Pokemon discussion. And come on. Well, then you have about a minute of dead air to fill. Go. All right. Well, um... The one the one Pokemon that's like the white legendary bird that um, has a giant boner made out of feathers. You should um, picture in picture the feather boner so yeah. people know what we're, what we're talking about. I'll, I'll do my very best. <laughs> You'll do your very, uh, your very best to get this photo of... That's like right. no one ever was. Uh. Oh, wait. We're clipping through each other. Oh, man, we gotta head to that texture. We're playing Snake's Arm Clips Through Bazooka. Yeah, it's a very good matte painting. The control tower that's controlling Peace Walker is located to the northeast. Go back east the way you came, then head north from there. I want to have you giving shit about it. I'm sure it's fantastic. It's just low res. Well, yeah, this is a PSP game. But this is Metal Gear Solid HD collection, man. They should have like gone back and updated those textures. Yes, updo them. Updid. Yeah, yeah. updid. Uh, they, I believe there's a course in that at DeVry University in full <laughs> sail. Yes. Yeah. Updoing what a one. Uh, smaller class sizes and flexible class schedules. So this time we remember to bring bullets to take out the kidnappers. Lops and I have made a nasty habit of approaching any mission that takes place at the missile base, bringing only darts, which is bad news for everybody. Yes. I guy just threw a grenade at you. Oh yeah, this is the this is around the time when I had enough of this game shit. So I I just spontaneously decided, hey, fuck you, okay? The nice thing is also though at this point the Masignagon is so powerful that you don't even have to headshot a dude to sleep him. If you go for the heart, it's also a instant incapacitation, and even if you don't, it will still cause them to sleep fairly quickly, especially if you put a second dart in them. I had no idea that this game even detected internal organs. Come on, it's does just, it? It is just the heart, um, and that's why you have to aim on the wrong side when you're shooting fortune. But what if his heart is on the opposite side? Yeah, what if his I heart's on the right? Joke. Just made that joke. That's true. Uh, I should delete that then. <laughs> nope. Uh, uh, okay, I'll stop recording. No. All right, All right. Then, then delete that. Uh, so we're in this map that we were in last time, uh, but now the garage door is open, so we have to go that way. Your objective lies beyond the gate. 
Look at me. I'm taking no shit from anybody. Yeah, you brought the battle dress uniform, and I brought the sneaking dress uniform. We are two snakes uh, approaching this game in different play styles. I, I'm surprised that, you know, as silly as this uh, series is, you can never get snake into, like, a black, uh, like, gown. I was so amazing, I just flipped over. A uh, black gown? Like, in, yes. in what style? <laughs> like a black dress gown. Okay. Oh. Just get snake in there. More on that later. Oh. Oh my. You can never tell what I'm kidding. That's the Kojima way. And you're just killing everybody, it seems. Yeah, of course. <laughs> killing everybody to sleep. Dude, you're... we're on the edge of global thermonu thermonuclear war. The time for taking shit is over. Yeah, that's right. Exactly. The time for taking shit is over. It is now time to give some. To dish it out? <laughs> yes. Num four. I only have a limited supply. You only have such a limited supply of shit to give. I can only give the first of two shits. So, um, when does the whole, like, building your Metal Gear come into play? It's been coming into play, but it's been mostly off-camera, just because we don't have the parts available to build our own Metal Gear yet. Mm. Yeah. And, frankly, we really won't until the end of the, uh, campaign. Yes. Uh, but we'll be, um, uh, we'll be editing out most of the grunt work. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Delivering the goods, as it were. Mm -hmm. The goods. Oh, because the payoff that you get for it is incredible. Do you, do you get to, like... Do you get to play as the Metal Gear? Uh, more on that later. I'll take that as a yes. What What are you doing? <laughs> oh, you didn't bring any Foldens, is what's going on. That's right. And uh, there simply are too many guys, so we need to save them for prisoners. Too many dudes. A sitcom featuring Snake and Snake. Snakeford and Snakes. <laughs> Way to just destroy that bridge there. Oh yeah, this is the perfect mission to not give any shits about. RPGs, this could be trouble. Oh, uh, this is the mission where I decided I would demo the rescue box. RPG, this could be trouble. How many different sitcoms could we fit Snake into? Um, the Snakesons. Um, the I don't know. I'd yeah, rather I not. I was about to like try and get somebody together that combined like the Jeffersons and like Infanterie, but I couldn't do it. Whatever. I'm such a goddamn <laughs> idiot. I was sniping that guy point blank, point blank. Maybe this was deliberately to die so he could demo the rescue box. Yeah, and then thing. Well, things never go as they are planned. When you let's say you do die, does it carry on the Metal Gear tradition of someone screaming your name? Of course. Hooray. I, I could have sworn that I've demoed at least one death in this game so far. I do not recall. Oh, well. I, I do remember when I when I first played uh, Metal Gear Solid, it was like on some demo disc, mm -hmm. and um, it was all in Japanese. So uh, Yes, of course. I, I remember being absolutely confused because, you know, I would run up to guys and like, I wasn't familiar with the concept of a stealth game, and uh, I just run up to guys and try and kill them, and I was like, nope, sorry, you're going down. Uh, stealth was a whole new revelation back in those days. Yes, so I would get the... What? Yes. The rescue box! I love it! I, what? I, look at that little siren. So good. It's duct tape to the lid. What? It's an ambulance, Frankie. It says Ambulancia on the back. That's right. <laughs> What, what does it what does it do uh, it gets me killed because I'm awesome yeah! <laughs> okay that guy just had a good day yes ah oh, the kickback is moving me pixels yes there's your someone screaming while firing the machine gun that you were hoping for all this time shit can you bleed out no no but I, I think that skull does flash faster and faster and eventually uh, you can fail the mission. And yeah, now I'm just rescuing the old-fashioned way. That's right. Everybody mash triangle. To the beat of staying alive. Actually, no, you you do it as fast as you possibly can here. What the hell are you talking about? What? The beat of... Uh, the ideal way to perform CPR is to the beat of staying alive. Oh. 
It, it's in an episode of The Office, that's how I know it. Punch the dude that used apps. Oh no. And uh, I believe this is where I ran out of Fulton's. And of course there's a prisoner here. You didn't have any. Yeah. Well, so, no. We left the best prisoner in the game. The best? Oh shit. Yeah. No. He knew the formula for the, the Fulton launcher. Well, I'm, I'm looking at the stat sheet here and it turns out that he's a... Uh, oh look, he's S rank in everything. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, he has a special skill that instantly brings your R&D up to uh, 112%. That doesn't even seem possible. Wow. Oh, well. So I believe if you get to the other end of this corridor fast enough, you can actually go through the far garage door. I am, I'm just trying to imagine, like, sort of the, the thought process behind that guy's head when you just kind of run by him without paying attention to him. Don't let them close that gate. Unfortunately, between my bullet sponging and Lops wearing the battle uniform, we just don't make it. Mm -hmm. And we're also too dumb to figure out how to use the action button. Ah, flips. He wanted to look cool against the wall. Leave him alone. Can you make him dance like Adam Jensen? <laughs> no, I'm actually studying it to try to figure out what I'm supposed to prop open, but I, I gave up. Take the elevator, quick. Hey. Gotta press the button twice. Hey, you can't run in place. <laughs> there we go. Don't tell me what I can't do. It, it makes it come faster. <laughs> yes. The more times you it press does. the button, it makes it in come In Metal faster. Gear games. Well, just like in real life. Oh, no, like an incredible crisis. No, no, that makes it stop faster. Thank you, Frankie. Watch out for the gunship. Yeah, so this is, uh, this is one of the few missions in the game that you cannot bring the Walkman to. Yep. I wonder why that is. Because oh, wait they a want second. you to hear this score... That's this, right. These this, fat uh, this, jams. They, this, this is riveting. actually, um... There's nowhere to run. you got to take those guys down. It is a pretty riveting song. Yes. Do we hear, like, that that Metal Gear theme anywhere in this? Uh, you mean, like, the Snake Eater theme, or...? No, 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 like the... Dun-dun-dun-dun-dun. Uh, yeah, when you die. Really? Yes. That's oh, yeah. it? Yeah. Oh. No, not outside. You'll be shot dead in a second. Miller, I don't give a shit. I thought you were referring to the one that Harry Re Gregson Williams opted against using for Metal Gear Solid 4 because of how similar it is to this uh, Russian ballad. Seriously, why would Miller advise against going outside when there's a gun there? Shortly after completing the screenplay for Watchmen, David Hayter considered doing more voice roles at Solid Snake. No. No. I'm pretty sure I just made that up. Well, so much for your cover. You better do something about that chopper. <laughs> Yeah, whatever. Weedly, 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 weedly. You got Fallout. You keep saying that. I don't know what it's from. Uh, it's uh, Protect and Survive. Oh. So, uh, I brought the strike marker pistol. They okay the request for supporting fire. It should commence any second now. I just lost my train of thought. <laughs> this plays during the credits. Please tell me it does. Or do you mean do you are do you mean does this song play during the credits? Yes. Yeah, it does. So we can uh, we can talk over it all the hell we want. So it is the love theme from Metal Gear Solid. It is the love theme from Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker. You're very astute. I wish um <laughs> I wish Konami was still releasing DDR games with as much frequency and craziness as they did back in the PS2 era. Uh, that was Harmonix. No, oh, DDR. D Never mind. Oh, you mean that story with the with the people that go into their holes that were made for them? <sighs> uh, you mean your fucking U Uzumaki? God damn. No, that was Uzumaki. That was the uh, the Enigma of Amagara fault. Oh, whatever. Thanks, something awful. Look, Snake, the game. These must be the last of them. Finish them off and head on through. All right, so we've already taken down the chopper thanks to my fantastic use of the strike marker. 
And now we just have to bumble around until the end of the song. <laughs> yes. Lops maintains that this mission continues until the song's over, but I think we're just that dumb. Start talking. Ah! Yes! <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Triumphant moment. You did that on purpose. I, I actually did not. <laughs> this is this is farther than than uh, me and Lobster actually got when we were playing the game solo, so this is fresh and uncharted territory. Let's just sit and listen for a moment. What? It's love theme from Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker. Get in your fucking ambulance box and crawl around. This is a true Metal Gear experience. Yeah. So yeah, the the next area is inaccessible, and neither of us noticed that there's just a corpse that is by the door. And you're like, oh, we have to stay until the song's over. And I'm like, I... Um... I just don't know what to do. Peace Walker's about to launch, sir. What? Well, we're busy. Let's start making out. It's just uh, two dudes uh, hugging it out in the middle of chaos. Good job. Now get in there. Head north. <laughs> I guess we'll never know. I don't know. My mind is still reeling over the fucking song. Oh, <laughs> well. Uh, enjoy it. No. Big boss, you made it. Too late, though. The false data's already in place. False data? That's right. Peace Walker is designed for deterrence, nothing more. She is incapable of initiating a nuclear attack on her own. She will only awaken and attack when it's time to retaliate. Peace Walker is a weapon of peace, after all. First, We'll enter data for an imaginary Soviet nuclear strike on the U.S. homeland. After assessing the data as a threat, Peace Walker will automatically enter retaliation mode, selecting the optimal target from a predefined list. For this scenario, we have reverse engineered the false data so that she'll inevitably end up choosing the Caribbean Sea as her target. You're really gonna do it, aren't you? Know this. Peace Walker's retaliation will be the first and last of the Cold War. It is the only way we will ever come close to achieving true peace. All that is left is to enter the code. No! Stand down, big boss. You're late. Professor. Professor? Yes, well, taking over the base took longer than expected. <gasps> but I uh, brought the technology. What? You provided the money and land. Center alone could never have accomplished so much in so little time. Zadarnov, you backstabbing son of a- Backstabbing? Correct me if I'm wrong, but were we not enemies all along? Do you really think my comrades were working for the company? Do you truly think we'd faithfully serve a pack of depraved capitalist dogs? What are you going to do? Launch a nuke. Target Cuba. Have you lost your mind? What would you possibly gain? We won't be the ones launching it. You, the Americans, will attack our ally, Cuba. What? Think, Coldman. We're on an American base, eagerly endorsed and supplied by a pro-American regime. What's the international community to think? The world will burn with anti-American sentiment. Communism will spread across Latin America unchecked. Ugh. Let the age of deterrence be undone by the deterrent itself. Such is the Kremlin's plan. You son of a bitch! Us, come here. Hmm. I 
am Vladimir Zadornov. And Vladimir means ruler of peace. Now, do as you're told, us. Don't do it! Remember what they did to you at their base on the coast. For what Coldman's done, he deserves nothing less than death. Pause! I I'm sorry! that retribution be delivered by a dead hand. You... you missed on purpose. Your part in this isn't done. I need you to enter the code. Doctor, the target is now Cuba. Please make the necessary modifications. And don't even think of resisting. I'll crush you, but only after I crush your beloved first. No. Not that! Cuba is now the retaliation target. Very well. Good. It is done. As for you, big boss, I've been watching you all along. You've performed beyond even my highest expectations. A true commandante. What are you talking about? Hmm. Why do you think I summoned you to Costa Rica? Had you make contact with the Sandinistas? <laughs> A true intelligence operative never gets his hands dirty. Need a revolution? Manipulate the locals into doing it for you. You mean Amanda and the Sandinistas? You've done well. You took a ragtag band of gorillas, children, and shaped them into a full-fledged, formidable army. And now, you'll truly become our century's most complete human being. Che Guevara? None other. A hero who, gunned down by the CIA, becomes a legendary icon. Sandinistas will rise up in revenge, overthrowing the pro-American regime and wresting Nicaragua from U.S. hands. And the nuclear strike on Cuba naturally will be the last straw. Mammal pod data entry is complete. Dead at age 39, just like El Che. <laughs> Ironic, isn't it? In the end, a legend is merely fiction. You'll die as the boss did, and become as did she, an eternal fraud. Go! 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 Freeze! You dare point your gun at a comrade? We... We will not be pawns of the KGB. We will win our own victory! Hasta la victoria siempre! Amanda! <sighs> we're home! Look! We're back in Nika! We did it, Amanda! I, I mean... Comandante! <sighs> Boss, you hurt! I'm fine. <sighs> Big boss. 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 You're a regular Joan of Arc. Nonsense. You're the hero here. You saved my life. You're the heroes here. I never figured you for a softy snake. Thanks. It's good to see you. Paz can stay with us until she's back on her feet. And the professor? We'll find him a nice, comfy cell. 
Coldman's lost a lot of blood. He may not make it. Hmm. Where's Amanda? Back with her compass. She'll catch up later. How about you, Snake? I'm not done yet. The AI. I have to finish this. That boss is a fake. I'm gonna bury it. We'll save the champagne until you get back. May as well celebrate peace while it lasts. I didn't bring her back to life because I was forced to. I wanted to know how she really felt. How it really ended. The boss is dead. No, she's alive. Some truths are better left buried. You don't mean that. Be honest. You want to know too, don't you? Whether what you saw and heard at the end was the truth. She'll tell us. I know she will. Thank you for stopping them. And I'm sorry. I can't imagine how it hurt. I'll live. I'm used to shock therapy. You are? Well, it's very kind of you to say. Let's go meet her, shall we? Get in, boss. Don't pick up a gun unless you know how to use it. Aiming a weapon alone doesn't make it a deterrent. You're the angel of peace. Leave the guns to us. That was our agreement, remember? The army's leaving Costa Rica now. The mission is complete. Thank you. <laughs> What's that noise? What'd he do? <laughs> I should have killed you when I had the chance. Norad's nightmare is about to begin. What? Peace Walker determines retaliation targets based on enemy nuclear strike data. That data can be sent to third parties as well. We got big problems, Snake. Coleman's activated the nuclear launch switch. What? And the target's Cuba? Yeah, but that's not it. The son of a bitch has screwed us all over. When Peace Walker was activated, it started transmitting the false data set to NORAD. It's using a spread spectrum MLF signal. It can't be blacked out. Even by EMP. There's no way to tell the difference between false data and the real thing on a radar screen. NORAD will have no idea it's all a ruse generated by Peace Walker. They'll think it's a real Soviet attack. They'll pass on the data to the National Military Command Center. And Washington will have to choose whether or not to retaliate. This could get ugly. Unless we stop it, we're looking at a retaliatory chain reaction. No. No need to panic. The nightmare will end soon enough. What do you mean? Coldman's aim is for the bureaucrats in Washington to see the importance of a machine like Peace Walker. He's trying to prove that humans don't possess the will to launch nukes. Everything will be fine. They'll never retaliate. They're only human. Cuz, where's the president? Last I heard, he was in the middle of SALT II negotiations in Vladivostok. With the president gone, nuclear launch authority passes to the next person in the chain of succession. The vice president's gone too. So after him comes the speaker. 
President. Vice President. Not one among them has the courage to push the button. No one willing to enter history as the great destroyer. In the end, it's not their lives that people value most. It's their reputations. The bureaucrats in Washington may not be able to retaliate. Peace Walker, on the other hand. She's loyal to the mission above all. And she's well aware that guaranteed retaliation is essential for nuclear deterrence to work. Peace Walker is the perfect deterrent. Cuba would not have been my choice of target. But you can't make peace without breaking a few eggs. Now that Peace Walker has the false data, retaliation is inevitable. Are you insane? You think it'll end there? You're about to unleash all-out nuclear war. Somebody find out what's going on at NORAD. Mammal's got a connection to NORAD. We could monitor it with the right equipment. I've got you covered. I've got NORAD on the line. Sir, we're tracking unidentified targets. Current apogee, 20 degrees. Estimated time of re-entry is 2250 Zulu. Have they contacted the president? Coverall is not responding. Warning system checks out. No corresponding natural signatures. Data is assessed as reliable. Cut the data transmission. We can't say for sure Washington isn't going to retaliate. The only one who knows the abort code is me. I die. No one can turn it off. Even if they do strike back, I'll already be dead. I can only pray that my theory, my peace, is proven right. Peace. Go to DEFCON 3. Get Zack on the phone. This is Crystal Palace. Stand by for an emergency meeting. They're at DEFCON 3. The false data and the nukes are both coming from the same source. We have to stop Peace Walker. The only way is to destroy her. She's entered launch mode. Peace Walker's rendered her judgment. The target is Cuba. Snake, don't let it launch the nuke. Shoot its giant ball. Uh, <laughs> thanks, Lost. Yeah! Alright, stopping this recording.